<laughs> oh my god, my tripod is falling down. In the moment, the National Book Award for Young People's Literature is presented here by Catherine Mercier. So let's see who wins this award. That's the winner uh, last night at the Telegraph Club, Melinda Lowe speaking here. It's a queer romance, two girls in the 1950s. And I just bought this book because it was quite affordable on Amazon, sorry, uh, as a, an electric book. So I got this one. Sounds very interesting. Queer romance in the 1950s, winner of the National Book Award. Here we go. Very powerful speech here by Melinda Lowe, who is asking uh, people to stand up against censorship in American libraries where right-wing people try to remove books about people of color, try to remove books about LGBTQ people, and primarily try to remove books about trans people. Melinda Lowe is saying that we need to raise our awareness against this fact. Although there are no a huge number now of books that have that are being published by LGBTQ authors with LGBTQ uh, topics. So now comes the Translated Literature Award, where I have my own favorite because it's the only book I read uh, in this short list on the on the finalists, and that's Elisa Chua du Sapin from France, who has written a beautiful novel called Winter in Sokcho that I loved. I loved the cover, the making of the book by the publisher, but also the sparse prose that this very young uh, French author is writing. She has already written her third novel now, which is being translated into English, which will come next year. Yeah, Winter in Sokcho. Translated from the French by Anissa Abbas Higgins. Open letter, publisher in the US. Mm, that's a Chinese book which sounded kind of complicated to me from the structure, which was my, my f Twilight not so interested, Twilight Zone by Nona Fernandez. Let's see, let's see, Elise Shua de Sapin, come on Elise, do it. Benjamin Labatute was also on the Booker uh, long list, and might, maybe even on the shortlist, one of the big books, and Planet of Clay by Summer Yasbeck, that sounds actually very interesting. And let's see who wins. Come on, Stephen. And this year's National Book Award for Translated Literature goes to Winter in Sokcho. Winter in Sokcho by Elise Shua du Sapin wins the National Book Award, everybody. That's such a wonderful thing. Winter in Sokcho, translated from the French by Anissa Abbas. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Such a good winner. Here she is on the left side, the winner and the translator. Congratulations, Elisa. Say something. I loved your book. And you have a great career in front of you, definitely. Yeah. I wish I could speak and understand more French. The question is, is if these awards are somehow connected. I mean, uh, Afro-American author Tia Miles wins now for all that she carried. Apparently the journey of Ashley's sack of black families, keepsake, uh, history of slavery and racism and and everything that bothers America still and will bother America for more centuries to come, I think. Um, if, if this has any influence on the National Book Award for Fiction, I don't know, because then we have two books by Afro-American authors uh, in the, among the finalists, Robert Jones Jr. for The Prophets and also Jason Mott for Hell of a Book. Hell of a book, which actually was sort of the secret favorite of Russell from the Ink and Paper block and uh, Shelf by Shelf, Jason. Um, I think they, they just love this book. 
Let's see who wins uh, the National Book Award for Fiction and if, if this sort of is, is, a, is a whole picture that is being composed here. We have one LGBTQ book for young literature. We have Elisa Chouet de Sapin with a, a young, amazing, aspiring author from France. Uh, and we have uh, now Tia Miles. And who do we get as the last but not least winner of the National Book Award of 2021? We, I think we have to wait for five, six, seven more minutes and then we know. Panel chair is coming now. Luis Alberto Urea is going to give us um, the winner of the National Book Award of 2021. We just talked about the books that are nominated. And now Luis Alberto is coming, the author of House of Broken Angels that I still have in my, on my shelf. Luis Alberto, I'm sorry that I haven't read it yet, but I will do it. So here he comes from sitting in Chicago, Illinois, and revealing to us the winner of the National Book Award. Come on, speak up a little bit, sir. Yeah, that's the coolest book club. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And I really, really wonder who's going to win this. It was quite a... Lauren Graf is, is one of the big favorites. She has a, such a big name. And also Anthony Dorr, who has won the Pulitzer before for um, All the Lights We Cannot See. Now he's nominated for Cloud to Cool Land, Lauren Gruff for Matrix, and we have Hell of a Book by Jason Mott, we have The Prophet by Rob Jones Jr., and we have, um, well, let's see who's going to win. So come on, Mr. Rhea. Goes to? Hell of a book. Hell of a book. Jason Mod wins it. Oh my f***ing god. I'm, I'm sorry. I was swearing. I didn't was supposed. I wasn't supposed to say that. This is such a great thing. Russell and uh, he loved this book so much. And also, ja no, not Jason, uh, but, but but the guy he did that video with. I'm so sorry that, that I don't remember your name right now. But this is incredible. Hell of a book. Excuse me, I am a bit overwhelmed right now. Um, I did write this um, acceptance speech ahead of time, just in case I got really overwhelmed, which is completely happening right now. Um, so I'm just going to read in case bear with me. If Congratulations, I'm man. I'd like to begin by apologizing to all of those who, due to time constraints, I will not be able to thank tonight. I think I actually have this as, a, as, a, as an ebook. Tonight, I would like to thank my agent, Michelle Brower, who exactly... And what Russell said was that this book starts and you don't know how it ends and the end will sort of break you apart and make you cry. So this is a hell of a book. It's called Hell of a Book. Congratulations, Mr. Mott. This was the National Book Award. What are your opinions about it? And what are you going to read of the winners? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to leave you, Jason, here because it's 2.40 and I want to get upload this video and I have to sleep a few hours. Good night, everyone, from here, from Sweden. <laughs>